Good morning, Advanced Privateer FX. Coming at you, non farm payroll Friday, June 7th. Not much to talk about the European Open. I do want to mention that we do have some German numbers, industrial production, trade balance, and French numbers, industrial production, trade balance out uh, 30 minutes time, and then in another 45 minutes, 845 Swiss time is the French numbers. This is only interesting because now 113.10 is a massively important uh, level for us. Uh, we will be buying through this level, CTA style, break trade style, uh, something we are accustomed to, we've been accustomed to doing over the last 20 years, maybe 30 years. Ay, ay, ay. Um, but uh, it's a classic level. Uh, there will be risk there. Uh, hopefully, it'll be news driven. Um, and if we do see this price, we will be on it. Um, so, just wanted to mention that. Elsewhere, uh, funny day yesterday. Obviously, ECB was not dovish. I wouldn't say they were super hawkish, but not dovish. The market got caught with the first move down through 01, go engulfed back to 22. Um, uh, back up through 32 and then f all the way up to 70. Printed that uh, 08 high, but couldn't quit, didn't have the energy to get through, and then we couldn't get through the figure. And now here we are on a very binary day, right? Non farms is binary. You have to just pick your number. For us, it's going to be any number that's printed below 50, we'll, we'll consider negative. Any number printed above 80, because people are looking for negative today, psychologically, you have to lower your what is positive. Anything above 80, we will consider sort of marginally positive. Um, and then you have to pick your horse. If it's negative, we buy euros. If it's positive, we're going to buy dollar Swiss, um, mainly because we have very strong indications that um, there's very good support in Euro Swiss below 111.50. Um, we're just seeing a, a number of different people that we speak to here in Switzerland who are trying to buy Euro Swiss down there. Uh, I obviously don't have any connections directly to the SND, but it doesn't take um, a wizard to uh, figure out what's going on over here. Uh, people are expecting them to be around between 111 the figure and 111.50 and are just kind of front running their supposed interest. So, something to keep in mind. Let's talk equities up to 53 last night. As per our medium term book plan, we sold 38s and 48s. Uh, we did take some back uh, at 38 in that last hour when the Trump waffle tariff on, tariff off, tariff on. Um, we are trading this even in the medium term book just because it's we're just trying to protect ourselves. It's now become somewhat insane. Your stop has to be between 60 and kind of 72 now, I guess. Uh, we've had one, two, three, four, five up days, 120 handles. It's not often that you see that, uh, no real pullbacks. Um, so if we do have another up day, another green day today, I think you just have to throw in the towel and move on to another medium term theme. Um, tactically today, we're not playing in the stock book. We're going to be just trading currencies. So we'll be watching this industrial production out of Europe this morning and then we'll just be waiting for non-farms. If non-farms are strong, we're going to buy dollar Swiss. If non-farms is weak, we're going to buy euros. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. One last thing. Um, dollar CAD's through 60 already. As we talked about, this has just been quietly a uh, very successful idea. We talked about it yesterday. So much less drama in Dollar CAD and the Vol, um, just quietly doing its thing. As far as the uh, Canadian number, remember the last last month's number was so hysterically good. You just have to be careful with this. Um, and 
I don't know. It depends where you're short from. We're probably going to have to take some back. Uh, we'll see how this, how the euro trades on this industrial production number, and then we'll make a decision to take some back and then trade this. Uh, we do think this is going to close below 133.60 today, but there could be some slop. So core short, tradable short now if you are still short. Um, this one's been very good to us this week, so we're thankful for that. Anyway, not a lot to say on a non-farm European Open. I will uh, touch base with all of you guys on Twitter just after lunchtime to see where prices are and see what we're going to do. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. Talk to you Monday.